Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Thangamani, an integration technical architect. Uh, first of all, I would like to convey my apologies for not posting any videos for the past one month. I have been very busy. Now that I am back, uh, I have seen many requests uh, for creating a SOAP service. So I thought of uh, giving a demo for creating a SOAP service today. Let's get started. So we are going to see this uh, creation of SOAP service in Mule 4 uh, in three different steps. First, we are going to see how to create uh, uh, a Vistel or import it into the project. And uh, Vistel contains uh, so many operations and we are going to see how to implement one of the operation. And also, uh, in order to deal with the XML, uh, we need to see how uh, XPath can be used in Mule 4. For that, we are going to see how to use XML module. Let's get started. So for the demonstration purpose, I have taken an example visitor from this tutorial points. If you want, you can refer there. I am going to take hello service visitor uh, given there. It's a simple web service. Uh, this visitor contains uh, a request uh, that contains first name. And uh, the greeting comes out as a response. So, so I have taken this simple uh, visitor. And let's see how to import this and create a project and create a uh, web service implementing this visitor. Let's get started. So uh, let's create a, a new Mule project. Let's call it as greeting service. And uh, you can see here API implementation and you can specify the API definition. So it could either be RAML or it could be visitor. You can see here the tooltip says you can either provide a Vestal or RAML file. So I'm going to give Vestal here. So now we can see uh, it brings down the menu that contains the service and port. And let's call it finish. So we have gone quick into the project creation, but let's take a pass and then uh, let's see. Uh, what just happened here. So this visitor contains uh, 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 different uh, components, which uh, I'm going to explain uh, what is visitor and the contents in an upcoming video. Uh, please watch out for that in the next week. But in this visitor, this is already created and available visitor. Uh, this contains a, a hello service and uh, this contains operation called uh, say hello. This operation, or you call it as method, uh, retrieves uh, the username as a request. And then it says uh, uh, with hello as a response. So when we import this visitor, you can see here this visitor is uh, imported into the resources folder. Under API, you can see uh, greetings.visitor. So what Mule 4 uh, application has done is automatically it created a Mule flow and it created a HTTP listener and then added SOAP router. So SOAP router uh, uh, creates uh, one Mule flow uh, for uh, each operation. Like in RAML, uh, it creates one flow for each resource path. But in Visdel, it creates one Mule flow for every operation or you, sometimes you call it as method. So it automatically it puts the uh, transform message by default and it says uh, say hello operation is not implemented yet. So it gives this default error message. So the application is now started and uh, it's up and running. Now let's investigate what's in the uh, console logs. So we need to observe something important here. And uh, in one of the log line that says setting the server's publish address to this particular address. So uh, this is the address where the Vistel is available. So let's go back and see the content of the Vistel. So here you can see this uh, uh, Vistel. So what does it mean? So initially we created a Vistel file manually by using some tools, either by using uh, Eclipse or by using some XML tools. So it's manually created based on our requirements and the type of operations that we will need to implement based on the requirements. So uh, <clears throat> according to the requirement, uh, you will create input uh, data type, response data type, 
and the operations that you will be implementing as so the visdel is now ready but uh, uh, after mule 4 implementation now the visdel is readily accessible uh, online by the other systems so uh, how do we say that it's implemented so uh, the http listener you can see uh, it's implemented with the path say hello and uh, if you want you can modify but this is the uh, resource path under which this visdel will be available so uh, this is the resource path and uh, also you can take a look at the http listener configuration and then you can alter the port number if you want you can alter it as you wish so only based on this uh, the visdel uh, should be available so you need to keep all these in mind uh, while arriving at this visdel so once everything is ready and uh, uh, it automatically creates the port number uh, and path accordingly which you can use uh, uh, or check if the visdel is ready now the visdel is ready which we can use this and import it in soap ui and invoke and see what happens so let's go to soap and give this visdel and let's calling it let's call it as greeting service so it came up and this is the default uh, uh, structure of the operation say hello and you can give your name to check what happens so this is giving a default uh, response which is automatically created by uh, mule 4 while importing this visdel so it says operation is not yet implemented absolutely we have not uh, actually implemented so it, it only created steps and templates in order to uh, make this visdel accessible so now let's see uh, how to give i mean uh, so our aim is to give uh, remove this uh, fault and then give uh, say greetings it should say so this is our expected uh, uh, output let's see how to do that so uh, uh, this is the uh, flow where mule4 automatically created this tub uh, with this false string and before uh, implementing the operation properly let's see uh, or uh, let's update the pom file so in order to extract uh, data from xml we need to utilize xpath which is which we are already familiar uh, so uh, so i have a dependency copied here for a mule xml module which you can add it under the dependency here so i've just added so this uh, unlike uh, uh, mule 3. Uh, 8.4 or 3.9 version uh, we need to have this mule xml module implemented in order to use the xpath in mule 4 so i have added so then uh, come back here and uh, go to this transform message and uh, let's delete these uh, soap fault we don't want but in fact uh, we need to implement this soap fault uh, under the exception handling which is not our scope of this video but rather we will say uh, let's say message hello and uh, before that we will set a variable <coughs> so let's extract uh, the name of the user uh, here username <coughs> And I have the XML module X path here. I'll explain this later on. So this uh, uh, will extract uh, a first name uh, from the XML. So let's see what are these a uh, little bit later. So don't worry about this error message. Everything should uh, should be okay after we include this uh, bomb dependency. So I'm going to stop and restart the application in order to make this effective. And uh, once username is available, we are going to go back and then add this under wars.username so that username appears in the response. So let's restart the application now. The application is up and running now. It's restarted. So uh, the changes we have done is uh, we introduced this uh, xpath 
and then we added this and I added a username of zero because XPath all, um, usually brings the input data in terms of array so we need to pick out the first element and uh, so everything is uh, up let's run it again so I have given the name Shiva and you can see the response coming at uh, as hello Shiva so let's see uh, what is the expression that we used let's take a look at this in detail so XML module contains uh, XPath function so which accepts uh, uh, three inputs the first one is uh, the XPath expression so um, we would like to extract uh, uh, first name and uh, this contains namespace so we need to take it uh, uh, irrespective of the namespace with a with a with the tag name called first name let's see here so the input uh, contains first name so we are trying to retrieve this and uh, so the payload contains uh, different parts since it's a uh, soap envelope it will have uh, uh, envelope header and body so which uh, we need to uh, extract body content so which will be the uh, which will be this uh, content which is what we are interested so we have taken uh, payload dot uh, body and you can see here uh, we need to treat this uh, uh, data as a raw data uh, I mean uh, in terms of uh, XPath function it should be treated as binary so uh, instead of just calling it as uh, payload.body we need to add this uh, uh, cap raw which is a defect fix done by mule4 team so which we need to add it uh, while using just uh, be aware of uh, this expression so that's it uh, in this video we have seen uh, how to create a vistel and uh, we have seen how to import it and which is automatically uh, appearing under the API as a greetings.vistel and uh, also we added a dependency XML module in order to use this uh, XPath and we have seen how the XPath looks like and finally we have seen uh, how to add this into the XML response by removing the default uh, false string content. So that's it in this video. Hope you have found this video useful. If so, please like my video and subscribe for my channel. Soon I'll come back with more videos on some useful topics. Thank you. Bye.